Hi, I'm Mariel Lynch. I am the owner of Caballo Belts. Welcome to my studio. These are custom beaded strips. I work with a gentleman named, a uh, family, said Kevin and Sue Horrocks in um, um, Stone Lake, Wisconsin, who do this bead work. And what I do for them is inlay them into leather belts. Um, working right now on cutting, uh, I'll, I'll be cutting, I've cut this first belt to length. Uh, I'm going to cut a window in here. This is just a few of the patterns that they do. These are just wonderful. This is a, a brown trout, uh, a ruffled grouse, and this is one of our newer ones. This is a full diamondback rattlesnake. So these are all beads, even though this looks like snake scales, and I just love this belt. So I've measured the length of the strip. They're all different because the the beading comes out different when it's um, depending on the pattern. Let me get an end on this. I'm going to set this up for a buckle tip. This is a groover. Put a stitch groove in all of my belts. Stitching lays down inside that groove, and it will not rub off in 20 years of stringing it through your pants. This is a short strip. because I'm trying to do math on the fly here. Okay. The trick with this is try to be able to get down into those corners. All right. Now, let me make sure I'm right on here with my length. edge on this. And then after this belt is dyed, I'll bevel this edge. I mean, I'll rub this edge so it's smooth and slick on the inside. And the other thing I do is take just a little bit out back here so we can overlap the beads. So when the customer's wearing that belt, there's never a gap at the end, but you don't want a lump there either, so you have a place there for beads to sit. Now, you can see if I did this correctly, oh, look, I did. When you order these belts, you can dye them any color you want. This one is going to be a dark chocolate brown with a black edge on it, so it's going to pick up some of the grays and um, these gray browns that are in the beadwork, and it's going to have the black edge, which is going to just pop out all this black detail work on that beaded strip. So this is sewed on here, and then the belt is lined with another layer of English kip. If you can go on my website and check the link to reserve belts, you can see all of the patterns that we do. We do ducks, we do pheasants, quail, some mountain scenes, all the trouts in all forms. After these belts are finished, um, after they're dyed and put together and, and finished, I ship them back to to Kevin Horrocks, Kevin and Sue, and they put their stamp on these, and they're sent out to the customer, and again, we've got belts, um, inlay beaded belts now all over the world.